The so-called text neck is a collection of symptoms that can lead to massive pain and potentially permanent invalidity. And when you look at videos on text necks, what you will mainly see is exercises, more or less good, that help you deal with the consequences of text neck. But there's very little on how to prevent text neck. And this is the goal of this video. It's to do the two, to show you how to avoid having text neck, and on the other hand, how to deal with it when you feel that something is happening. Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, a gonomist, posture therapist, author of the Posture Manual and creator of three online posture programs. Text neck is strongly associated with the use of mobile devices, such as your smartphone, for example. You see, when you're on your phone, well, your eyes and your hands needs to be at the same place. Hence, you will end up like this. Either you put the phone at the right height for your eyes and you have massive load on your neck and shoulders due to the fact that you have to hold your arms in the air or you let your elbows loose against your body and you end up with your neck like this. And here you see there's a flexion of your neck right here in the lowest cervical vertebra and well the image that you could take is it's kind of the same as if you would uh, come back from the shopping center holding your bags like this well for these muscles what you're asking now is to hold a head which is at a distance sometimes you can see that this gets a bit bigger and there are different origins for that but a potential one is that when you're so much like this well, the muscles need to attach to more places for, well, be, be, being more and more effective in holding the head. And therefore, some more connective tissues appear in this area, which make it swallow. In ergonomics, when we have a problem, we always apply the same plan of action, which is in four steps. Step one is, can you do th something to avoid finding yourself in a complex situation? In this case, step one is, well, do you really need to be on your mobile phone? Really? You can consider that due to this flexion or this shoulder strain that is directly linked to the use of a mobile phone, each minute on your smartphone is equivalent to six minutes on your desktop. And the risk of neck pain is plus minus six times when you're on your smartphone. Therefore, a smartphone is what I call an emergency device. And when you use your smartphone, you should always ask yourself, is what I'm doing really dealing with an emergency or not? And what you will see is that a lot of the things you do on your phone, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, the news, etc., is not really kind of urgent. So, you know, it's more that we are bored, so we take something in our hands and against our eyes. But actually, if there would be something else that we can do to deal with boredom, that would be way better for your health. Then as an ergonomist, you will be looking at technical solutions to reduce the problem. And typically, you will say, well, actually, the wall can be a technical solution. Look, if I put my phone on the wall and I start typing, well, the, the weight of the, uh, the, the phone is at the level of my eyes, but I don't really have to hold my hands in the air because they can be on the wall and the friction against the wall will replace muscle activity. This is when you stand. When you sit, you can do kind of the same, which is holding it like this. There are some devices, you know, simple devices like this from IKEA, which cost nothing, which allow you to hold your phone while now with the cover, it's too thick to fit in there. But basically, the idea is this. So again, well, I can rest my arm on the desk and play with the phone. You should be careful though, that, you know, resting hard surfaces, such as your elbow, uh, on a hard surface, such as a desk, can lead to uh, nerve or blood vessels um, compressions. Another solution is to use your phone as a single screen, simple screen, sorry, and to use a Bluetooth keyboard, such as the Logitech K380, and you dedicate one of the three channels to your phone, so typing on the phone. An alternative, which I use all the time, 
is to use voice messages rather than to type. The good thing with voice messages is that you know the, the communication is much clearer. So if you make a joke, well, everybody will know it's a joke. You will not need to create some kind of misunderstanding that will force you to reply and la 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 in postures which are suboptimal because your fingers need to be at the same place as your eyes. So voice messages uh, are, let you the possibility to be much more free in your posture and therefore they will spare you the, the neck flexion which is uh, the, the, the origin of the issue. When you want to be relaxed with your phone, well, you will need a headrest. And you see, basically here I will be kind of comfortable, but I don't want to hold my phone. So I will need a cushion on my laps and this cushion will hold both the phone and the weight of my hands. And therefore that would be comfortable. It's exactly the same actually with a, um, uh, with, with a book when you read. In one thing that you should be, be aware though is when you sit like I do, you should still be sitting deep into your chair so as to make sure that your lower back is supported. And here, well, the posture is quite okay. And the reason why you need a cushion is that you see your line of sight is actually up there. So to not lower it too much, you do your best to bring the phone in direct, at the height of your line of sight. After doing all this, ergonomists will look at time management. So step one, avoid to get into the problem. Step two, what can you do at technical level? Step three, what can you do at organizational level? Meaning how can you better manage the time? This includes how can you take more breaks, you know? And uh, therefore, if we go back to my idea of six times the risk, well, if you have to take a break every 30 minutes, when you work on your desktop, divide it by six, and that means that you should take a break every five minutes when you're on your smartphone. And once you've done all this, well, the last level at which we can reason is the level of your behavior. That means both your posture and the exercises that you can do. In terms of posture, think the, the, the chin tuck skill, CF my video on chin, chin tuck skill versus chin tuck exercise, the chin tuck skill can be useful. In other words, you should not go like this towards your phone, but you should make sure that your chin stays at your place. So you see the neck flexion will not come from the lower neck, it will come more from the upper neck a bit and a lot from your eyes. So that's about looking at your phone like this. Now, this is the problem with behavioral interventions. It's very difficult to sustain this over a long time because it touches at your habits. And therefore, what's comfortable for you on the short run, even if it's harmful on the long run. This is why working on posture, although it can be super necessary, is the last thing that we do because well, it's difficult for most people to sustain. And finally, we can have a discussion on exercises. The number one exercise that you should master when you spend a bit of time on electronic devices is the upper body reset, CF the card. What I'm going to do here is show you another exercise, which is a specific exercise for the lower cervical neck. This is about mobilizing this area. You're going to have your two arms at around 45 degrees from your body and one palm will be facing upwards. Make sure that you spread your fingers like this and you will always be looking at the palm that faces the ground. And when you turn your arms, you turn your head at the same time. And you go like this, I don't know, 10 times or something. Yeah? And then you let go. So this is what you should do when having to deal with tech neck. Step one is to not create tech neck. And step two is if it's already there to deal with the symptoms. I know that I sound like a boring old guy, I'm maybe a boring old guy, but basically, you know, mobile phones are not meant to be used as mini computers. They are not as healthy as computers and computers are anyway uh, also potentially harmful. So, you know, <laughs> the big message behind the tech neck is get a life. If you need help with posture, economics, exercises, your habits, your health, your pain, well, feel free to have a look 
at the online posture programs. I've just completely reshuffled the pricing so that it's affordable to everyone. And I'm sure that most of you can uh, draw great benefits from joining one of the programs. And as always, put your comments below, put your questions, I'll be happy to answer.